welcome back to Way Back Wednesday, the series where we go way back to take a look at some older Disney Cars diecast releases. Today, we're going back to 2013, when Daryl Car Trip with Headset was first released. This is a car that was missing from my collection for quite a while. I got Brent Mustangberger and David Hobbs cap with headsets in 2016 in their two-pack release. I actually reviewed them pretty recently for a birthday request. But I didn't have Daryl until just about a year or two ago when I got him for either my birthday or Christmas. I think for Christmas, but I don't quite remember. He is a very cool diecast though, and one I was very glad to finally add to my collection. He's got a really great expression starting up at the front here. Very in character for Daryl. Very enthusiastic and over-the-top facial expression. Of course, the classic Daryl Carter flame design. Always really cool. His front is orange and then... Of course, there is the flame design on the hood, yellow flames, and then blue flames on the outer edges. Moving on to the side, of course, that flame pattern continues. Some nice light year tires. Always nice to see when they put light year tires on characters that are meant to be former racers. Of course, Daryl is supposed to be a former racer, now commentator. Number 17 on the side, 17 up top, and of course, a headset, which I didn't really mention earlier but yeah he, he does in fact have a headset kind of the whole point of the car there is also of course a cars 2 version of uh daryl carter but he has a different expression also different from the cars 1 release we have boogity 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 his catchphrase written on the back there even more of that flame design light year tires of course with those nice silver wheels really funny detail on the back his back is blank of course you never see his back in the movie uh and they used his back on the diecast for some nice free advertising. DWstore.com is apparently the web store of Daryl Waltrip, who plays Daryl Cartrip, of course, is named after him, based off of him. Um, doesn't really make much sense here, now does it? It's, it's funny that the back of the car is an ad for his real-life web store. I wonder if that website is still active. I'm not quite sure. It would be honestly kind of funny if it's not, but hopefully it's still active. Doesn't really make sense to be DW, though. I know this is a link to his actual web store, but shouldn't it be DC? His, his name is Daryl Cartrip. The, the DW doesn't really make sense. It's it's kind of out of place. It's just a strange addition, and it's strange that it's just an ad for his merch store. I Again, I think it's a pretty funny use of the back of the car, but, like, shouldn't that be DC store? then it wouldn't link to his actual website, but it would be more consistent with the character I... You know what, I... I'm sorry guys, okay? Sometimes these errors and inconsistencies uh, break me, as we all know. At least it's not bad as Ramon Green, am I right? On the other side, we've got the same details. Are those flames identical? Yeah, probably. It's 2013, they're not going out of their way to make the flames on Daryl different, unless... Oh wait, they are a little different, I think. Yeah, see, there are two flames here. On this side, there's only one flame. Okay, so they are a little different, which is a pretty nice touch. Always nice to see when they make the two sides of a car different. There is a look at the base, and just another look at the headset, of course, attached to the roof, not removable as per usual. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for another Wayback Wednesday. Bye now.